The latest version of Starport brings many improvements to the way you scaffold, configure, and run your blockchain applications. Let's scaffold one right now. This will be a blockchain for pirates. With the Starport app, we generate an application for Blackbeard. It will be called Jolly Roger. Let's open it up. You can see that there is a config.yaml file, which allows us to configure accounts, validators, and more. Let's rename our first user to Blackbeard. Blackbeard will have 1,000 pounds and 500 escudo. The second user will be Sailor Bob, and Bob will only have 50 pounds. Our validator will be Blackbeard. Now we want to change the staking token denomination from stake to something else. Let's say our Before we run our application, we need to change the staking token in our Genesis file. To do that, we use the Genesis property inside app state, staking module, params, bond, denom. Now we're ready to launch our application. We'll use starport serve with a verbose flag to make sure we know exactly what happens in our application. We can see that the output is prefixed with the process that emits this log. So while our application is building, let's also check change the chain ID to Jolly Roger. When we save our config file, we can see that it automatically rebuilds our application. Now the last thing we want to do is to change the prefix of our addresses. We can do that in the file called prefix.go. Let's change it to pirate and save. We can see that we made a mistake and Starport notifies us so that we can fix it before continuing. Let's fix our mistake and save the file. it automatically restarts the build process and continues. Now that it has built our application successfully, let's check our users with our Jolly CLI. We have two users. And let's check the account balance for Blackbeard. We can see that Blackbeard has the right address prefix and the correct amount of coins. The last thing we need to do is to change the account prefix in our front-end application.